Good morning all. So this is just the next in the series of videos looking at the hydrogenyl alkanes. And in this video, we're very simply going to be looking at the preparation of the hydrogenyl alkanes from the alcohols in your notes. Okay, so we're on page four of your notes and we're looking at the preparation of the hydrogenyl alkanes. The first one we're going to be looking at is the use of PCl5 to make a chloroalkane. You've already come across this in the alcohols pack because this is the way that we test for an OH group by replacing the OH group with a chlorine. So our reagents are just dry PCl5 and conditions are room temperature. It has to be dry because PCl5 also reacts with water. So if I want to make 2-chloropropane, I need to start with 2 prop and 2 ol So I'm going to start with my prop and 2 ol Wherever I want the chlorine to end up, that is where the OH group has to start can't change the carbon skeleton halfway through. So I've also got my PCl5 and that's going to replace the OH group with a Cl and we get our chloroalkane and we also get some HCl gas that's the steamy fumes that you see coming off and you also see some, or you also get some POCl3, and that's a liquid. It's not a very economical way of making PCl5, um, because, sorry, making the chloroalkane because the PCl5 is expensive. The other reason is that HCl gas is produced, which is corrosive. In other words, it burns on contact, so it's not a particularly good way or useful way of making it. Um, another way of making um, a chloroalkane is by using hydrogen chloride gas. Now you need to be careful here, you either use hydrogen chloride gas or you can use concentrated hydrochloric acid, but it must be concentrated, it won't work with dilute. Now generally speaking we make this in situ where it's needed, so we're reacting potassium chloride with concentrated sulfuric acid to produce HCl in situ. And we'll come back to in situ later on because we're going to need this for our experiment. So we're going to make 2-chlorobutane uh, using this method. So I'm going to start again with butan-2-ol because wherever I want the chlorine to end up, that is where my OH group must start. So if I wanted one chlorobutane, I would need to use um, butan one -ol. So I'm adding hydrogen chloride gas. And again, very simply, I replace the OH with the chlorine. So I've now got my two chlorobutane. And this time, the only other product is water which is quite useful. Moving on to the bromoalkanes now. Again, there are two ways I can make these. The first one is to make them using PBr3, which again, we form in situ. Great, so the equation, first of all, to make um, PBr3, again, we make this in situ, is to react phosphorus and bromine to make P. Br3, so I can have one and a half bromine liquids there. Again, if I then react butan 2 with my PBr3, it's a very similar reaction to the chloro reaction. Again, I'm starting with the OH group on the second carbon because it's butan 2 ol And I add my PBr3, and this makes my product where my Br is now on the carbon where the OH group started. So I have two bromo 
butane as my product. And this time I get H3PO3 as a product and my product name is 2-bromobutane. That's not the more common way of making a bromoalkane. This one is far more common. It's a far more useful one. So I want you to star that one because that's the one that we're going to use in the practical. And that's also the one that your exam board would like us to use. So this is um, from hydrogen bromide gas. So again, this is one you, a reaction you've seen before. You've seen it in your, hydrogen, sorry, in your halogens pack. So equation to make HBr. We start with sodium bromide, or we could start with potassium bromide, because um, that's a spectator iron, the potassium or the, brom or the sodium. And we mix it with concentrated sulfuric acid, and we get hydrogen bromide. And we also make some NaHSO4 as our other product. But it is this that is my attacking species. So again, let's have a look at what that means from uh, using one bromobutane or making one bromobutane from butan 1 of. So this is one of the large experiments that we would normally do in the lower six. It's probably one of the largest experiments. Obviously, we can't do it at the moment, but you would do it as soon as we are back in college because this is one of your core practicals. So it's a practical you need to be aware of and to be able to describe in detail so, HBr. So we then make our product, which is 1-bromobutane. And this experiment I'm going to describe in the next video. So um, we get that. And we also get some water as our product. OK, so the last one in this set is the iodoalkanes. These can only be made from iodine and red phosphorus, PI3, which again is made in situ. So phosphorus and iodine react together to make PI3. Again, I can double it up if I want to, so I can have a 2 there, 3 there, and a 2 there. It doesn't really matter. Again, the conditions are uh, damp, because it's damp red phosphorus, but room temperature is fine. We'll just warm it through a little bit. So to produce 2-iodobutane, I would like to start with butan 2 ol with the OH group on the second carbon. Remember, it doesn't matter which way I number the chain. I always get the smallest possible number. And I add my PI3, and I make my iodo compound where I've replaced the OH group with my iodine and I still get the same H3PO3 as my uh, other product. Now, um, one thing you need to be aware of is why we can't use HI in this reaction. And it goes back to something we had in our, um, in our halogen pack. If you remember, hydrogen iodide is quite a strong reducing agent. So if it was mixed with some sulfuric acid, it actually would preferentially reduce the sulfuric acid, or the sulfur in the sulfuric acid, rather than reacting with the alcohol. So that's why we can't use HI in this uh, mechanism. We can only use this PI3 to react. OK, so that just finishes this short video for today, just looking at the preparation of the halogenoalkanes from the alcohols. In the next video, we're going to go on and have a look at the preparation of bromobutane. That is core practical six. So it's quite an important practical. You need to know the experimental details of it and you need to understand the theory behind it. But we'll cover that in the next video. So until then, take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.